Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan and in today's video I thought I would show you some of the Christmas gifts that I plan to crochet for some of my friends and family. If you do celebrate, handmade gifts are a great way to not only save money but also personalise to whoever you're gifting to. And in this video I think I've got a decent variety that might give you some inspiration. Of course, for any crochet project, you are going to need some yarn, so I ordered everything I needed and I have just received the parcel. So let me show you what yarn I have and what I plan to do with it. But before I do that, if any family or friends are watching this video right now, hello, I ask you kindly that you click off this video because your Christmas gift is most likely going to be shown. So get lost. Thank you. Okay, on to the yarn. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the smaller gift ideas first and then progress onto the larger items at the end of the video. So these are going to increase in terms of how much time you need to spend on them. Now for this first one, it's very simple. It's a cup cosy for a takeaway coffee cup or flask. Now if you already have a cup like I have here, then you can use maybe the holder that it comes with already as a guide for your crochet. Or if you just have a cup in mind that you want to use, then you can simply measure around the cup for how big you need the cup cosy to be. But if you don't, you can just follow this pattern, which is for a standard 8 ounce coffee cup, I think. Essentially for these, I made a rectangle measuring 8.5 centimetres wide and 23 centimetres long, and then sewed the two short ends together. And you can do the same with whatever stitch or colour combination you'd like. But I'm going to show you how I made this pattern using a 5mm crochet hook, and two contrasting cotton yarns. To begin I'm going to use this dark green cotton yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot and then I'm going to chain 37. After that I'm going to make 36 half double crochet starting from the second chain from the hook. For this pattern I'm going to be using a standard hound's tooth design so after the last half double crochet in the last chain I'm going to chain one, turn my work over, and then single crochet in the first stitch, and double crochet in the second stitch, and then I'm going to alternate between single and double crochet for the rest of the row. At the end of that row you should finish on a double crochet, and when you have two loops left on your hook on that last double crochet, you can bring in your new contrasting colour and pull that new colour through those two loops on your hook. From here, chain one, turn your work and make a single crochet in the first stitch and then a double crochet in the next stitch and repeat that same single and double crochet pattern until the end of the row. As for these two yarn ends, you can simply pull on them slightly to close up any gaps and then with this old yarn you can simply snip it off. After that row, repeat changing colours and continue changing colours for every single row you do. Now you can make as many rows as you'd like as this will determine how wide the cup cosy is. For me, I made seven rows of the houndstooth pattern, so that is four of the green and then three cream rows. And now I'm going to finish with a row of half double crochet, just like how we started. So chain one, turn, and I'm going to make a row of half double crochet. After that, I like to finish the entire border with a row of single crochet chaining one on each corner and crocheting over these yarn ends. So all I do on the short ends when I'm single crocheting is make a single crochet for every row that I made. At the end of that single crochet border I'm just going to slip stitch in the first chain one that we made, chain one again to tie off 
and pull that through. All that's left to do is to place the two short ends right sides together and you can either sew or crochet them together. Right now I'm just single crocheting. And using that previous row of single crochet we did for the border, I can just line up the stitches so I know it's even. At the end of fastening together, I can then just tie off, turn this inside out, and I will have a finished cup cosy. To make these cup cozies look a little more professional as well when I gift them, I've just made some cardboard holders from just like delivery boxes and slotted them on. The next gift idea are these decorations for a Christmas tree or any way you'd like to hang them really, like a fireplace or even as bunting. For these, I began using the crochet star pattern that I made last year, so I'll have that video linked below as well as a timestamp. And these stars only take me a few minutes each to make. All I'm doing then is a row of single crochet in a contrasting colour to create a border. And to do that, I'm going to grab a smaller hook size than the one I used to make the stars. This is a 3.5mm hook. For the stars themselves, I used a 5mm hook. And then grabbing my contrast yarn, this is just the same cotton yarn that I used for the cup cozies. Make a slip knot. And I'm going to attach this yarn onto one of the chain spaces at the point of the star. And I'm going to attach it using a single crochet. I'll then chain two. single crochet in the same chain space and continue making single crochets around the entire star shape. And once I reach the next point in the star, the chain space here, I am simply going to make a single crochet, chain two and single crochet in the same chain space. And then continue again a single crochet and repeat that same point for the rest of the star. And once I'm done with the border and I'm back where I first attached the new yarn, I'll just slip stitch, tie off with a chain one, cut the yarn, pull through and weave in the end. I've then threaded some pieces of yarn through a point on the star and made a knot at the top so they can be hung. Okay, let's crack on with the next gift. Following on from the homeware theme, I'm going to be crocheting a hanging planter. I already have this plant pot right here. It needs a bit of a clean actually, but it's a 16 centimeter or two and a half liter plant pot. So that's the size that I'll be making this planter for today. I've actually made a head start on the main body of the planter using the same cotton yarn as before but instead of working with just one strand of yarn I've been working with two and I've been using a five millimeter crochet hook. I've also been using a stitch marker which I definitely recommend because you are crocheting in the round. As for this pattern I actually just used the base for a bucket hat so in a moment I will leave that pattern on screen for you to pause the video if you'd like. Whatever size pot you do have though, I would recommend making the base of it slightly smaller than the pot, just so then when you crochet up the sides, it has a nice snug fit. And now I've got the main body of the planter here, I'm just gonna add some finishing touches. So I am planning on adding a tassel at the bottom and also making it able to hang. So I'm going to begin with the tassel and for that, you're going to need some cardboard or card pair of scissors and some of the same colour yarn we've been using. So this is just some spare cardboard from when I made those cup cosy holders and I've cut it so the length is 13 centimetres which is how long this tassel is going to be. I'm then going to grab the yarn I've been using and I've actually cut out multiple strands but you could just use one strand at a time and very simply I'm just gonna hold one end at the top and wrap it around the cardboard. I'm then going to grab an extra piece of yarn and around this end, which is the one with no loose ends on, 
I'm simply going to tie it at the top. So weave it underneath and make a knot at the top. I'll actually do that twice. So then at this end where some of my loose ends are, I'm just going to use some scissors and cut the bottom of the rest free. So this is your basic tassel, but we're going to make it look a little bit prettier. So now I've grabbed another piece of the same coloured yarn. I'm going to wrap it about an inch below this top knot quite tightly a few times. I'm holding it so that this long end is roughly the same length as the tassel. And then wrapping it as many times as I can around the top. And then very simply, I'm just going to tie the two ends with a knot. So I actually just tied that knot twice and I hid one of the shorter ends inside this top little nubbin bit. So all that's left to do is I'm going to give it a haircut so it's all the same length and then I'm going to comb out all the strands. Now for the hangers, I have divided the 56 stitches, which is around this edge, into four and marked them with a stitch marker. So I counted every 14 stitches. And for the ties, I'm going to grab two strands of the same cotton yarn I've been using and attach it with a slip knot to where I have stitch marked. Then chain 45, tie off the end and repeat that four times to create the hangers. So with these four ends here, I'm going to attach each of them onto a key ring and then crochet over the key ring just so it neatens it up. And you'll have just seen me hook all of these ends onto the key ring. Now I did say I was going to crochet over this but realised that I have now run out of this coloured yarn. So I think I'm just going to weave in these ends into the chains. And there we go, there is Planter. Okay, it's time for the next gift, and it's going to be a classic scarf. But you could also gift hats, gloves, you could try the balaclava trend that's going about right now. I don't think I'm brave enough yet, but I do kind of want to try it. For this next gift, we are changing it up. We're using this chunky acrylic yarn, and I've also switched to a 5.5mm crochet hook. For this particular scarf, I have chained a length of 80 inches. And then right now I'm going to do a foundation row of half double crochet, chain one, and then continue with half double crochet in the back loops only. This is going to create a ribbing on the scarf, and I'm going to continue just doing rows of half double crochet until the width measures 10 inches. I don't think this needs an in-depth tutorial, so I think I will skip to the good bit, as they say, and show you the finished product many rows later and here is the finished scarf in the end i only crocheted until it measured 6.25 inches wide and i used 300 grams of the chunky acrylic yarn my mum's just sent me a picture of the christmas crackers she's just made Do you want to see? Look at those! It says Megan on. How adorable. I guess crafting runs in the family. What can I say? And the last gift idea I have for you is definitely the most time consuming, but the most rewarding if you can do it. And that's a crochet blanket. This one here, which I finished just last night, uses a mixture of the basic granny squares, which I'll have a pattern for on screen right now. And then alternating between those, I have this daisy granny square, which I'll have the pattern for linked in the description. Once I had all of these granny squares, I used the join as you go method to attach them all together. And then around the border of the whole blanket, I completed a few rows of the same granny square style stitch which is just three double crochet clusters and then finished with an easy scalloped edge 
Now something like this might be a little late in the game if you want to finish it before Christmas. I guess it just depends on one, how fast you can crochet granny squares and two, how large you want your blanket to be. This one right here is six rows of 11 granny squares. So it's more of a decorative runner for a single bed. But if you have the patience and the time, I think they make a really lovely gift. And that is a wrap on those gifts. I hope you enjoyed this little crochet with me and if you are planning to make your own gifts this year I'd love to know in the comments below what you're doing. Maybe we can share and give each other ideas. If you like this video I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and while you're down there you can subscribe too if you'd like. If you didn't know I also have my own crochet page on Instagram where I'm currently open for commissions as well as a TikTok account where I post more like behind the scenes stuff of my business. So I'll have all of that linked below if you're interested. If you celebrate, I hope you have a very happy holidays, however you're spending it. And I will probably see you in the new year with more projects like this.